What's going on guys? Roger here at QBO Tactical. Our suspension has been lifted. We are out of YouTube jail and here we are. Uh, you guys have been seeing the SHOT Show footage rolling in, so we'll get into that. Um, additionally, I'll kind of break down why you guys haven't seen us in a week, what the suspension means, um, kind of how shitty it is to be a gun tuber right now on YouTube. Uh, first thing though I want to jump into is our buddy Ivan. You guys know him as Kit Badger. Got to hang out with him um, during the course of SHOT Show and kind of talk about all the BS going on with... Um, with YouTube, with him and with me. Um, with that being said, uh, this morning woke up to his channel being deleted. He posted this here. I'll bring it up for you guys on Instagram. Uh, YouTube officially went and deleted his entire channel. Uh, super frustrating to see this, irritating. I'm angered by it. Um, I can't imagine how Ivan's feeling considering all of the, like, the years of you know time, effort, money he's dedicated to this platform and putting videos out there for them just to be unjustly uh, deleted. Ivan, dude, feel for you. I agree, it's 100% bullshit. Hopefully they give you your channel back and hopefully they start being more transparent about what they expect uh, from content creators in this industry. Um, anyway, let's go on to what I was talking to you guys about uh, with what happened with us. So, um, like, less than a month ago, our channel was demonetized, remonetized, then we were given a warning and given a strike all in the course of a week. Uh, the strike came on the Sunday before SHOT Show, coincidentally. I uh, had a bunch of buddies that were talking to me, hey man, it's probably just a coincidence. Absolutely 100% disagree. Here's why. I was hit. 1911 Syndicate was hit. Ivan was hit. Uh, what is it? Uh, Amelan Inc. Lucky Gun. Like so many people were hit the day before SHOT Show, which doesn't allow them to post content. Um, you guys know from previous years what we like to do during SHOT Show. Uh, we like to upload every single day. Like this year, we had 20 videos that were ready for you guys throughout the week. And then we did upload them to Instagram, so if you follow us there, that's where you saw them. Um, but we actually had to go and do a massive video dump here on YouTube on Sunday when we were out of YouTube jail. Um, the videos aren't tracking well. I mean, I think the most viewed ones, like 19,000 views, whereas the videos we had last year were in the 50s and 60,000 views. So <clears throat> what does that mean? Well, it tanks revenue, guys. Our revenue, you can, I'll bring up my little like dashboard screen so you guys can see it here. Revenue for us every 30 days is around $1,200 to $1,500. As you can see, it's like four to 500 bucks. Um, not, not the huge thing I'm pissed off about. Um, it's spending all the time and effort putting this content together for it just to get suppressed and people not see it. Uh, other friends of mine have been posting like, hey, we're not seeing a lot of SHOT Show coverage this year. Um, what's going on? And it's like, well, several creators weren't allowed to post any videos. Uh, coincidentally, the day before SHOT Show. So, uh, I don't think it was a coincidence whatsoever. Um, I think it was coordinated. I think that the whole goal was for them to suppress us being able to post content about the largest um, trade show in the firearms industry. And, uh, <clears throat> I mean, everything that's happened to me among other people, including Ivan, kind of points to that direction. Um, so, what does it mean moving forward? I know a lot of you guys are like, hey man, make a Rumble channel. Yes, we made a Rumble channel. Uh, we have a few subscribers over there. Um, the problem with Rumble, guys, is that Google is the number one search engine, YouTube's the second largest search engine. So, if you wanted to find the review we did with Hollow Sun at SHOT Show, you would need to Google QBO Tactical Reviews Hollow Sun on Rumble in order for you to find it. Otherwise, QBO Tactical Reviews Hollow Sun would never even come up in your search criteria. And so, you know, and it's like, how do we, how do we fix this? How do we make this better? Um, I mean, yes, everybody would massively have to stop using YouTube. But I would bet that Firearms content probably only makes up 15% of YouTube's content, and honestly, I don't think they would care if we all left their platform. I think they'd rather just not see our content, period. So those are my thoughts on that. Um, I will say the silver lining with all this crap happening this past week was that I was able to get uh, on the inside of some of the stuff that goes on at YouTube. What I mean by that, I was able to talk to other content creators that have been able to um, have talks and meetings with people uh, I don't want to say that work for YouTube, but people that are in the know about what's going on. So, what does that mean? Moving forward, the policy that has been explained to me that's coming out, that has not been made public, that's not transparent, and that we don't know about, um, 30 Round Magazine. So, you cannot be seen in your video loading a 30 Round Magazine. You cannot shoot 30 consecutive rounds out of uh, a magazine in a gun. Um, in addition to that, you can't swear in the first eight seconds of your video. I believe a couple gaming channels got taken down for that. And then you cannot thread on or thread off a suppressor. That's what I got hit with. Um, very frustrating stuff because none of that was in their policy before and it still isn't. The only thing that is mentioned about a suppressor at all 
And the thing that I keep getting back from the little chat bots are that, hey, suppressor policy is this, you can't make homemade suppressors. Never once do we make a homemade suppressor. We work with several suppressor manufacturers, silence manufacturers, and we show their, uh, their, their product and how it works. By threading it on, they are saying that I'm assembling a firearm and that's why I got a warning and then I got a strike. Um, so they even removed the videos. <clears throat> so moving forward, you're not gonna see us, like I'm gonna still do suppressor content guys because you know, that's what we do. But you're not, when you're, you're not gonna be seeing B-roll or cool footage of us throwing it on. So um, all the companies out there that make awesome different mounts, unfortunately we can't show that here. Um, additionally, uh, the suspension stuff. So if you're not familiar with YouTube, you get a warning. I got a warning for threading on a suppressor on a video that had 211,000 views on my 1911 shooting it. This video was manually approved by YouTube as suitable for all advertisers. And then I was given a strike for it, or warning for it. And then we threaded on the center, the 3D uh, printed radical, um, radical defense, radical firearm suppressor on our video and got a strike for that. And that's what suspended us. So the fact that those videos have been up for over a year and that they went through the, you know, the weekend before SHOT Show and pulled those videos and gave us strikes for them after they had been manually approved. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't see anything that says coincidence. Um, you can't have me ask for more scrutiny on a video to get it approved by YouTube to be suitable for advertisers, get that approval, and then more than a year goes by and these videos get tens of thousands of views and now you wanna hit us with warnings and strikes to make sure we can't post during the biggest trade show of the year for the firearms industry. Yeah, I, I mean, call me tinfoil hat guy or whatever you want, that doesn't sound like conspiracy to me, that just sounds like facts. Like it sounds like full on, they knew what they were doing and that's what they wanted to do. And um, they did it to several other people. Anyway, um, so suspension's been lifted. Um, I did my best to go through all of our videos and make sure that things were blurred out. Um, that way we're not getting hit with another strike. But uh, yeah, moving forward guys, I am uploading to Rumble, don't get me wrong, that way stuff's going up there. I have backed up my videos, that way we have them. Not that it would matter, because if we don't have you know, the platform to put it on, what the hell are the videos good for anyway? Um, but yeah, I don't really have any like super great news for you. Um, our channel is back, for how long? Who knows? Uh, it is still, it is back to being remonetized, for how long? Who knows? Um, all we can say is, while we can continue to put the content out there, we hope you guys are enjoying it. If you guys do want to support, check out all the Patreon stuff we have going on. Um, like That's all I got for you guys, man. Uh, if you're trying to be a gun tuber in 2023, um, I highly recommend not doing it. Uh, fortunately for us, you know, it, it's a marketing tool that we can use for the holster side of the house, which is doing really well. Um, but as far as like doing it as a full-time gig, I mean, if you got money bags and you're sitting around with nothing to do, by all means, have fun with it. But, you know, my experience with it has been very, uh, very troubling, very tiresome, uh, very frustrating. So uh, I do want to keep making these for you guys because the guys out there that do reach out, the guys that have become part of our Patreon squad, um, have become friends. You know, you guys have seen Bryce on the channel. You guys have seen Fam. Stephen Fam was out here helping me film Shot Show. Uh, he met me on Patreon, started playing video games with me, and I'll and then I've been to his wedding and Bryce's wedding, and we're like the best of friends. So like, definitely good things come from it. I don't mean to be like a Debbie Downer with this video. It's just after seeing Ivan's post on top of all this crap going on, it's just super frustrating, guys. So anyway, uh, this week we're gonna be out hitting the range. We'll have more videos coming for you. I do want to get that 300 Blackout Jackal filmed. Um, if you haven't seen the SHOT Show content we put out, I put out 20 videos. We put them on a playlist that should be on the main page of our uh, YouTube page. Um, check them out, guys. I did, I think the longest video is like maybe nine minutes uh, where that was like hollow summary. We talked about like the five different products they released. But other than that, they're all super short, sweet, to the point. Um, guys, I appreciate all of you out there. You dudes out there that take the time to watch the videos, leave constructive or positive or kind words. You guys are awesome. You mean the world to us. We appreciate you guys. You make our weeks way better than they uh, could be. So keep on with that stuff. We appreciate it. Other than that, guys, I will hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks.